What's up YouTube? Game over 86 coming back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about why DLC being released so late is bad for not just the game that is being released for, but it's bad for the future games that the company is going to be making. So if you're new to this channel, sit back, hit the subscribe button, listen to my opinion and Listen to what I have to say about why DLC is being so late delivered to a game that was a year ago is such a bad thing. So we're going to be talking about DLC and why I think some of it's good, but some of it for the most part is bad. And, and what my opinions are on DLCs and season passes and, and so on. First things I want to start out with is the season pass is, is kind of an extra, you know, incentive. I believe that the game should already have in it. Like they used to in the old school gen consoles. And, um, and you know, for years to come. But they don't. They charge you 25, 30, 40 bucks for season pass, and it comes with all the DLC, all the extra content, you know, that you already spent fucking 60, 70, 80 bucks on. So that's kind of a frustrating thing. I'll tell you the reason why it's bad and sometimes why it's good. First reasons, though, of why it's bad is not only that you're paying for the season pass and you get this shit later on in the future, it's just companies that are good that do it it's okay and companies that are bad that do it it's not okay and i know that sounds stupid and i'll explain call of duties they're going to do these dlcs and these add-ons and these map packs and the season pass most people will probably buy the season pass i mean if they want everything they're big fans of call of duty that's their that's their thing but by the time you get to the actual part of the dlc we're talking you know map pack three dlc three or DLC 4. You know, the new fucking Call of Duty's coming out. And that's how it's been for years. And so all these people that are paying this money for this content on the season pass, they got you. No matter if you have to go back and play it or not. No matter if you don't, you know, if you go back and you play it like fucking a year later, it don't really matter. It's just stupid because, yes, I understand everybody's in the business of making money, but... If you're spending 65 bucks with tax, or if you're spending a little bit more on a gold edition, and they give you, you know, maps, 10 to 12 maps, you know, and some guns, and then, and then, you know, three months later after you pay for season pass, or even if you don't, because there's some people out there like me that don't anymore, um, you get these guns that should have already been in the game. You get not only guns, but you get some crates and extra shit. Like if you're a Twitch Prime member, or if you know you kiss ass here, you you sign up here to get you know extra shit. So like they give you extras for spending even more money on shit that don't even benefit, that don't even benefit you as the consumer. So when I see all these DLCs being paid for and bought for and everything else that that comes full circle. That's bad. Companies like Destiny, where they get you, and I talked about this in another video, you you get these other DLCs that you already paid for, and it tells these companies, well, we already got the money. We really ain't got to put a whole lot into this. Let's take 30% out of the game when the game drops, and then we'll add the other 30%, which we already have done, but they don't need to know that. It's going to be in DLC, and then they're going to have to pay us even more money for that. And I think that's bad. I think that, and if the game companies up have to say they don't do that, they're fucking lying. Okay, they're just like music fucking, you know, companies, studios. They, they steal. Okay. Anyway, they they make you pay for all this, and they don't even do a damn good job. Like I said, with Call of Duty, you, you're paying a season pass, you get everything, but everything in the game, ninety percent of it was already done. So they're gonna space this out. So we, you can either pay. 30 or 40 bucks per season pass, or you can pay like 15 or 20 bucks separately for these DLCs, depending on what you like. But if you pay the 30 or 40, then it's like you get everything, you know, within that next year. But by the time next year comes around, there's another Call of Duty. So it's like they want you to spend all this money and time and only play their map packs for fucking two months before the next one. Yes, it's a hook. 
to keep you playing their game throughout the whole year. But the only bad thing is, is when they only provide so much content, that is where it gets shitty on not paying for Season Pass, which I don't, and, and DLC, which I don't anymore because it, it's if they made a game every three, four years, then yeah, it'd be cool to get the DLC, kind of like Modern Warfare. And and the older Call of Duties from you know 2005 and six and up, you know some of them games didn't come out you know so like one after another off the fucking conveyor line like you're just eating 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 you're like dude I'm fuck about enough man they're like no eat damn it eat and you're like fuck and you just keep eating these Call of Duties up and these DLCs and you think to yourself fuck let me enjoy this game for a fucking year or two. Let me enjoy my map packs that I played for you, fucking thieves. No, no, they keep bringing out new games and new games and new games, and you get a map pack, and it's like, this map pack's dropping in October 2018. And then you get it, and it's like, oh, the new Call of Duty drops November 7th, 2018. Fuck you. Thanks for your money. See you later. And, and you sit back, and you think to yourself, what the fuck? All my buddies just went and bought it, and here I am dicking around by myself trying to plant a bomb on this new map. Where are my friends? Oh, shit, they already got the new Call of Duty. But no, and it's not just Call of Duty. It's the games that are made year in and year out. You know, Assassin's Creed, I think, did it best. Um, they took a year out, and, you know, they made a movie, which wasn't that good. And, and then they made, um, they made uh, Watch Dogs 2, which... Some people don't like. Um, and then they took time out to actually spend on making this Assassin's Creed. And Assassin's Creed Origin drops. And you know what? They dropped DLC. But this game had so much content in it in the first fucking place, you could play it for a very long time and enjoy the game. It wasn't, well, I'm going to go in and do a domination match or a free-for-all or team death or kill confirmed or search and destroy. And... Uh, and then I'm going to do the same thing over and over and over again and build up a re repetition on this map so I know where to run and where to throw my nades and all this other bullshit. And then they bring, like, one map. Or then they, they go by, you know, holidays, like, sham, you know, fucking, what is that damn day that I can't even think of where you got to wear green? <laughs> St. Patrick's Day, oh, we're going to drop all these extra chests and we're going to do all this bullshit and make you have to grind for guns that were already actually in the game, but we took them out and put them in the game so you so you fucks will have to sit there and waste more time. You know? It's like I was playing World War II a while back ago when it first came, and I'm like, where's the where's the Gruer or whatever it's fucking called? I mean, other people out there are all picky about how you say it. But, um, you know, where's the Mosin or Mosin or whatever? Where are all these fucking guns... Oh, they come in the DLC. Well, ain't this World War? Why the fuck can't you give me my gun? Why can't I use a gun with a silencer like World at War had, which made it fun? Why can't you do that? Why the fuck do games do this? They give us games and DLCs or season passes because they want that extra money. They got to keep making money on that bullshit content that they provide us with. But it got so bad for them that they realized, oh shit, we got to revert back to our old ways, old games. But yet they don't have probably the talent that they had back in the day when they first made the damn games popular. So it's not just that on DLCs. The other thing that makes DLCs bad is the time and effort that you have to wait to go back and be like, oh, that new DLC is dropping. I got to go back and play this for a little while. And then you get in there and you realize they didn't do anything. Destiny. They didn't add anything. They added guns from year one. They added DLC that is supposed to have new guns, new maps, new missions, all this shit. Just like Call of Duty. They add shit that should have already been in the game, but yet you feel like you just paid for shit that should have already been in the first place. So DLCs on a, on a whole, they're, they're, they're wasting not only our time and money, but their own. If they just fucking give it all at once, whether the game have to be pushed out every year, Take an extra three, four months and drop that shit later or drop it a year later. Take time to where you get all that and more people are willing to pay if you don't make a game every fucking eight months or a year technically. But it's stupid because it's like one after another, one after another, one after another. Well, I just paid you almost a hundred and some dollars 
worth of content and you give me my last part, which is normally the best fucking part of the DLC, is at the end, you know? They don't want you to fucking have too much fun. They want you to be craving more of that bullshit that they're about to send you, you know, a month or two later after that last DLC drops. So, like, I'm craving and I'm wanting to play it, but then they drop another one. So fans are like, damn, now I gotta go get this one. Because nobody's really gonna be playing this one. You know? Unless it's good. I mean, there's gonna be people playing it, but there's gonna be more people playing the new one because it's new and all that other shit. But then, um, and it's not just Assassin's Creed that does it, I think, good. There's other companies out there that do it good. And, and they don't even fucking charge! I just got done playing Monster Hunter for, like, the longest fucking time. Hell, I actually made another character uh, under my my name, um, Game Over 86, so I could enjoy playing with other people from YouTube and stuff. Because my other character, I'm already playing with a bunch of people. And, I mean, I... I I'm always on with them, and if they're not on, and I'm wanting to game with other people, you know, shoot me an invite on Xbox. I'll I'll uh, I'll uh, message you guys my shit, my my actual username, which is funny by the way. But it's like I I, I got all this extra DLC on there, and it's funny because they don't charge you, and you got an extra amount of stuff, whether it be weapons, whether it be a new monster to hunt, whether it be new content to explore they're going to be bringing more and more and more stuff and it's awesome not only do they do that they bring you skins that are actually fucking relevant and actually give a shit about you know yeah ryu gear you know i know on playstation they have their certain kind and on xbox they have their certain kind and i'm sure you know all that other shit will come full circle possibly with nintendo i don't know i know there's a monster hunter xx out there from japan i think it's only in japan but i mean i think you can get it in played on nintendo switch right now so um you know for people out there that want to play it on the switch i go check it out i think the game's kind of pricey though um but it's i've heard it's pretty good but like, not just monster hunter man there's so much other games out there that give you free content because you paid them full price or you're paying a monthly subscription and some people say well that's like a season pass game over no it's not because the, they're actually giving you fucking content that wasn't in the game when you first paid for it. That's the big deal. So people out there are like, well, you're getting extra content. No, you're not. 90% of the time, you're getting shit that was already in the game that you paid for. And, I mean, come on. World of War dropped in 2006 or 2007, 2008, something like that. And they had, like, more guns than World War II had when it first came. Now, you tell me, why can't they add all them guns in there? Because they realize they can make money by putting them in DLCs and people will buy them. But if we stop spending this harder money that we all make on these DLCs that are coming out so late and so stupidly, repetitively, over and over and over, year in, year out. And they actually sit back and take the time to make the game and make new maps. Instead of going, well, we already got them hooked for their money. We might as well just take this map and... Put snow in it or take this map and make rainfall or put this map and put our dicks in a blender and just turn it on and then you know you just have a rain full of dicks falling on you you're like ah there's dicks everywhere you know it's like it's stupid shit like that hell why don't you guys why does it you know this is what i would want i mean fuck it if you want to fuck us in the ass like you already are with lube i mean with lube i say with lube because most of them aren't why don't you just make it rain dollar fucking bills on our head and shit in the game? So we realize, oh, there's my 20 bucks that I threw at them a year ago when they finally decided to fucking put this in here. Why don't they do that? They don't. They don't do that. No, we're going to make this, this, this map day from night. Why don't you just make the game where it goes like a normal fucking day? So you'd be grinding and shit in a giant war game or something, and all of a sudden, like, it's getting darker, so you have to... You have to use your HDR, you know, and the game style play to your advantage of your TV. If you have 4K or whatever, you can use that. So, okay, this shadow is normally not here because it's nighttime now, but it might become day in the next 20 minutes or 10 minutes or whatever. And then I have to kind of creep around this corner a different way just to get the advantage on the guy or to capture a flag or whatever you want to do. But they don't. They don't even do that. They'll fucking, this is, was my biggest opinion when I used to game so much on them games is how come every month you just don't randomly generate and go in and update the game 
to where when you play Search and Destroy or you do Capture the Flag or fucking Domination or whatever you want to do where it involves capping a point or planting a bomb. You know, every month it's put in a different spot in the map. So you don't have all the people that are repetitive who think they're good at a video game because they just play it all the time and they think, oh, this is so easy. Because let's face it, World War II actually has auto aim on for everybody out there that doesn't know that. That you know, So when you're shitting on people, you're like, oh, I'm so good. Well, you have auto aim on there. Take that bitch off and see how well you are. Anyway, you go back and you start playing these fucking games a lot more and it gives you a different variety of the map. You know how many times I've played Call of Duties? over the years and some of the maps don't even get used it's just that one little area and if they would be like oh okay next month the bomb instead of b being here and uh, you know carotene or whatever the fucking map is instead of it being in the middle of the buildings which people know what i'm talking about or the other one to plant the bomb or capture the flags it might be over here in a house you know to where you have to use different mechanics and different ways of approaching it but they don't do that because it's too much fucking time and, you know, hard work for these gaming creators and all these people that are so good at making fucking video games. And and, and that is the biggest reason why I think DLC is a waste of time and money because they don't give a shit anymore. They don't put any heart and passion behind it. They don't actually make the DLC worth it. And it goes out for all these games. It's not just this. It's not just that bullshit. I mean... There's DLCs and season passes, or there's microtransactions the whole time when the game comes out. And is that a big fucking deal? Like, no. It's not a big fucking deal to most people. They spend money and don't give a shit. But for the people out there that have already spent $65 on a game, and then they sit back and they start playing the fucking game that they they spent all this money on, and then just to get DLC six months later, and the DLC come with guns that they wish should have already been in the game or or a fucking bullshit close they're giving you all this bullshit content oh it's an epic gun or it's a fucking heroic gun who gives a fuck it's the same damn gun with a different fucking coat of paint on it it don't make you any better i could use the shittiest guns in the game and be just as good as somebody but they don't do anything they don't let you put silencers on there fuck no i mean they already learned from the mistake. They put a silencer on a fucking assault rifle like a brewer or something like that. I will shit on people. And they actually make it good. But no, they're only going to put silencers on some machine guns. Because, I mean, they, they want to make this fucking game more realistic, I guess, and not fun. And, and then the companies that do it the best, you know, and I shouldn't say the best, but they do it better than some of the shit companies out there that are just going to make game in, game out, game in, game out. I mean, there's so many companies out there that are dropping DLC for free or, you know, free to play. And I'm not hyping up Fortnite just because it's popular, but like Fortnite, they put out this shit in there that, you know, you could pay for. But they also add some shit that changes a little bit. I mean, they're doing it okay, but it don't feel like you're spending a ton of money just to enjoy the new shit that drops. Yes, you have to spend some money to enjoy a lot of the stuff, but some of the stuff they give to you free to try out for a month or whatever. And it's like, wow, this is cool. I, I might want to spend my money on it. Instead of spending your money and then realizing, holy shit, this gun should have already been in the game. Why the fuck is it not? And see, that's what I think the companies are doing wrong. And that's what people don't understand. And that's what I'm saying. Uh, you know, For people that don't know, I'm giving you guys my opinion on what I truly believe on the DLCs. And if you're going to spend money on something, they should be bringing something new and innovative. New maps, new gear, new stories, new guns, new clothes, whether it be... Um, anything like that, and they shouldn't make it behind a paywall after they bring it, after you've already fucking paid for the DLC. Destiny 2, Battlefront 2, you know, it, 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 it's, it's shit like that that is hurting companies that are smaller trying to start out, and they're damn good companies make it. But there's companies out there that are single player, and, and they bring this DLC, and and it's actually good because people that are wrapped up in a story in a single player and they don't have to worry about, you know, cheese dicks still in their car just to rob a fucking bank or shoot you every time you get online or, you know, troll your ass. They can get entwined in the story and play on their own terms and they get a whole new world. And I'm not meaning just Horizon Zero Dawn to be to throw one out there, but like Bloodborne and all these other things that are they add stuff and you don't feel like you you don't feel like they already had it in the game. They just hit it. 
behind DLC or paywalls or season pass. You believe that they actually did spend time to work on it because you could tell. You could tell the story's a lot better. It's still good. You know, and there's companies out there like Grand Theft Auto that keep adding stuff to it. And I'll get to that point and I'll get to all that stuff um, with Grand Theft Auto. You know, it's booming. People do spend money on it, but they're keeping more and new stuff out there. So don't feel like that you're paying for shit that should have already been in the game when the last thing dropped. And that is why I believe DLCs are hurting the games, most of them. Some DLCs are good and some of them are worth the buy, especially when they give you an extra 20 hours of content or even 30 or 40 hours of content because now we live in an era where, you know, like the PS1 days, you know, they'd come with four or five or six or seven discs and you would play Final Fantasy and you'd get 200 plus hours of story and gameplay and replay uh, replayability. And, and now it's like, well, we're all jacked for 20 hours extra and that's worth it if it's worth the game. If you've already spent 60 bucks on the game and you have to pay an extra 20, but you're getting an extra 20 hours and it feels like you're getting another game in it, that's worth it. But when you play a game and they run through, like Destiny 2, the same fucking planet, the same place, only it's like turned differently or it's colored differently, and it's the same guns that they had from the first one. Like I said, why are you paying for uh, this DLC when they're giving you guns from Destiny 1? That is stupid, and it's a waste of money and time, and I think we should all be paying attention to that, and we should be stopping that as consumers, as fans of games. And I think if we start to pay attention to all these little loopholes and all these bullshit little tricks that they're trying to do, I think they could revert or change back. And people may say, oh, no, they're never going to change back. Bullshit. Because um, they bombed on Battlefront, and they changed. They took out that pay-to-win shit. You can't buy them out of a loot crate. You have to earn that shit in-game now. They did take that, even though they brought the loot crates back, you have to actually earn the other shit that they wanted you to pay for, the star cards. And Call of Duties, how shitty they've gotten. Infinite Warfare and all this other shit. They reverted back to the old school days, just like Battlefield. You know? It's, it's, it's games like that. They're starting to realize, wow, we were making way more money. And they play longer on our game, on our servers, when they play these old games that were fun. Well, that's because they were fun. And they weren't fucking us and stealing our money and making us waste our time waiting on this DLC just to be lame as fuck. Anyway, that's my little review on DLCs and why they're a waste of money. And why they shouldn't be always entered into a game a year later. Or why they shouldn't be brought into a game. Or why you shouldn't have to pay just to wait on a DLC to see if it's going to be good. Especially when they have a history of making a game year in and year out. I think they should stop. Just give us all that content on there. Don't nobody out there fucking leave a comment telling me, oh, well, they didn't have them guns on the game. Or they had to bring in new guns on these World War games. And all that bullshit. They had these guns. They're out there just to take our money. But if I forgot anything on what you guys may think that DLC is why it's a problem or maybe why it's a good thing on some of these other games that I've mentioned like Assassin's Creed or, or Zero Horizon Dawn or Horizon Zero Dawn, excuse me, and, and um, some of the racing games out there and stuff that have this stuff, the simulating ones and, you know, without the pay to play or play, pay, play to win, pay to win, whatever you want to call it. I'm getting my tongue tied, twister, whatever you want to call it. My tongue's getting all jammed up. Drink my coffee. I'm sorry. People out there, though, that enjoy DLCs, leave me a comment down below on, on what you guys are getting enjoyment out of it. And, and I know there's going to be some people out there that do enjoy it. And then also leave me a comment if you guys kind of see my point on, yeah, it's kind of a waste of money that I have to pay for a game, you know, when they drop this DLC a year later, like two months before the game gets released, or they slowly, methodically drop it. But they're only dropping a percentage of guns or content or maps or anything, story, and it's bullshit. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you're new to this channel and if you like me and you like this video and you like talking about video games and hearing me talk about video games, I really do appreciate everybody. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. For all my returning subscribers, I do appreciate all the support, all the kind words, guys. And I always want to leave a good message for everybody out there that is watching this. I always try to speak positive and just speak the truth from my opinion, my viewpoints. So if you guys do like me, hit the thumbs up, smash that button, 
leave me a comment down below. Hit the subscribe button. For all my returning subscribers, if you guys haven't checked me out on my other social media websites, follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm going to be posting up other kinds of stuff like that. I'm going to be giving updates on new videos that I'm going to be making, what I'm going to be spending time on. I'm going to be doing intros. I'm eventually going to be doing gameplays. I actually, let me show you something real quick. I just hooked up my Elgato, and yeah, you see my little Wii U right there. <laughs> but I hooked up my Elgato. I'm sorry to mess with the camera so bad, guys. I hooked up my Elgato. I'm getting all that set up. I'm going to be setting up uh, some intros and stuff like that. I'm going to have some fun. I'm going to possibly stream some games coming up once I get that all figured out. I'm losing my mind when it comes to this computer stuff, and it's getting frustrating having to sit back and have to switch stuff around just to get my gameplay going and um, set up all that stuff. You guys come check me out whenever I do. I'll definitely let you guys know in the future when that will be. Um, upcoming and I'll probably make a certain day to play and it might be later on at night when I have more time to spend on this gameplay or uh, just gaming online where you guys can watch me stream anyway if you guys do like this like I said before and I'm sorry to repeat it um, it's just the reason why I repeat it and I'll be honest with you because you guys always say oh man you're honest keep them honest well it's because we have a 10 second delay of when the my subscribe button comes up and when these other videos that I'm gonna post up when I go back to edit this so there's only a 10 second thing. So if I don't say hit the subscribe button, follow me there or whatever, hit the thumbs up. A lot of times people forget and they don't stay to watch the end of the video. That's fine. But anyway, smash the subscribe button. Check me out on all of my other social media websites. Leave me a comment down below and I'll see you guys on the next one, guys. Always, always. Game Over 86 is out. Peace, guys.